and welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. Um, if you can hear scraping in the background, it's because Dan is filling holes in the wall that's going to be painting today. Can they see you in the mirror? Yes. Um, we've had a bit of a late, well, a lazy morning for us. Um, it is now 10 o'clock. I didn't get up till 8.30. The girls are just watching a bit of telly and we're going to head off shortly to Blue Water because Lilia has to go there very briefly to put some things on the giving tree which I don't fully understand what it is, but um, it's to do with something she's doing with rangers. If the camera's wobbling, it's because Dan's wobbling the table, getting filler from the pot. Um, so we're going to do that, and we figured we might as well all go and just get out the house for a little bit, because later today we're all going to be at home because we're going to be putting up the Christmas lights and the tree. So that's going to be fun and also quite chaotic. Oh, and we've got a paint. The wall that Dan is currently filling. So you would have seen I had some malt loaf for my breakfast this morning and that is because I was trying to think of something I could have that wasn't sort of sugary cereal or um, white processed carbohydrates like white bread and stuff. The problem is um, white bread and uh, things like that are really good for my um, my plumbing. If you don't know I have a J pouch um, which I've had since 2012 and things like that if I'm feeling a bit under the weather if I'm feeling a bit under the weather, it can make my pouch a little bit under the weather and things like white bread and stodgy things are really good to settle it. Um, but I've been getting these really, really awful headaches and I'm wondering if I might be getting um, sort of sugar crashes, highs and lows, and I think that might be contributing to it. So I really didn't want to start the day with something refined. So I started with some malt loaf. I don't normally believe in dried fruit, but I do quite like malt loaf and it's very nice with a cup of tea. You will have also seen me this morning showing some lovely, lovely gifts. Now, I haven't showed everything and I've got a couple more bits here to show you, but lovely Nikki, who is a viewer of this podcast, contacted me and said she had a little something to send me. And what she sent, I'm absolutely overwhelmed by her uh, kindness to me and to the girls and to Dan, because she did include some chocolates for him. Don't worry. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I'm absolutely blown away and overwhelmed. I honestly do not feel like I in any way deserve it. And it was just as a thank you for the podcast. So thank you, Nikki. Um, I've made a little extra video, which I will send just to you, of the girls and their reactions to some of the things that you sent them because they were blown away. You really, really um, got them. Um, but you will have seen some of the beautiful things that she sent me. And there's a couple uh, of other things that I wanted to show you. She also sent me this amazing bag by Jibby Rousseau's and it's so beautiful. Um, it's got this Christmassy stag and thistle fabric on it. Um, and on the inside, it's just got this beautiful plain sort of pinky red and the label. I've no idea if this is coming out because, is that coming out, Dan? Is that focusing? Yes. There you go. That's my, my production assistant there. And she also got me this book and I was thrilled with this because um, it's got a lovely cactus on it. Um, it's by Joanna Basford, How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. I follow Joanna on Instagram, so I was aware of her. And it's basically all about how to do little doodles, which I've spoken about before, that I love to learn how to do these things. And it is such a beautiful book. I'm, I can't wait to get stuck into it. The girls have both got their eyes on it and they're not, they're not getting anywhere near this. I've marked a page here to show you with a banana. So you would have seen yesterday that I was needle felting some baubles. They're just here. I've got to work out how I'm going to hang those on the tree, probably just with a bit of thread. But thank you for the comments that I've seen so far this morning coming in on my needle felted baubles. I wanted to make that kind of old fashioned, you know, like the old fashioned glass, 1950s ones. And then this is my little decorated bauble. Anyway, Dan wanted to go, so he made a banana. Well done, Dan. Everyone say, well done, Dan. Um, anyway, it's marking this page just to give you an idea of the kind of thing. It shows you how to do things in stages. So here it is showing you how to do um, seashells. And I have no idea if you could just see that. So thank you so much, Nikki. Um, I'm going to send you a message right now after I finish filming. So um, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Thank you. Right, we are gonna go and get ready. I'm the only one that's dressed, so I might have a cup of tea whilst everyone else gets ready and then we're off to blue water. There's something wrong with your outfit, Lilia. Is that? You seem to be wearing my arm warmers. <laughs> I'm in here. 
I'm wearing my Highland Peak shawl today. I will put a picture up on the screen as usual. This is a pattern by Mina Phillip, who is the knitting expat, and I made it with drop our baby alpaca silk, I think it was. I made three of these. It was the first knitted shawl I ever made. I made them in the same colours, but in different um, setups. Uh, one for me, one for my mum, and one for my sister. Um, I love this shawl. I wear it a lot. I might make another one. Would that be mad? Four of the same thing. Oh, it's sunny. Very sunny. Right, we're at Blue Water and it's mental, so we're going to get this over and done with quickly. And I am going to go to WH Smith's and see if I can find the Christmas bumper edition of the Radio Times. Some of you spotted the Radio Times on yesterday's vlog, but that was not the special Christmas bumper edition. That was just a normal one. Boo. 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 <laughs> Double issue, four ninety five. Look how excited they are. So we got home and put up the Christmas lights with a hot melt glue gun, which is supposed to not damage the brickwork. So we'll see how that goes. But it was so windy and cold that we needed a cup of tea afterwards. And then it was no rest for the wicked because it was time to start painting another wall and get the Christmas tree up.
No, I'm not staying here. I'm just, I'm filming something in front of the tree. <sighs> I'm vlogging. Pass me my wine. <laughs> you can't see the face he's pulling at me. We are just settling down. I thought I'd just pop in because there's been a lot of running around and filming and playing <laughs> Pinky Plonky music. Cheers. So I thought I'd just say goodbye for day eight. I've just opened some beautiful yarn from Annette. Sorry, nearly spilled it. Which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm very pleased with this. I'm going to sit and cuddle it whilst we watch the Strictly Results show. We Lovely. think, well, who did we think is going today? Chris, Chris and Karen. Chris and Karen. And I want Karim to win. Oh, he's my okay. absolute favourite. Mm -hmm. I think he's brilliant. So we're going to go and watch Strictly and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.